Okay, so these are all the different attachments that you can use with your Skyvac. I'll show you what they all mean, I'll just explain briefly what they all do. Um, this tool here is probably the main one that you'll use 80-90% of the time maybe. Um, really neat little tool and it just slips in there, 45 degree angle there. And the great thing about the opening here is that it allows it to suck up plenty of material in the gutter. One thing just to watch out for, it's great to have this, the best thing to do with this is to have it like a sideways on, like that. If you have it straight, flat like that, what will happen is you'll just be going along the bottom of the gutter like so and not really sucking up anything. What you really want is for that opening to be sucking up, it needs to be open so that it can suck up material as you're going along inside the gutter. And most of the time, like I say, that'll be perfectly adequate. Now there's another one that's very similar here. This one, but you'll see it's longer. The reason for that is that both of these two attachments will fit just snugly inside the downpipe. And this one's longer so that you can reach right down into the downpipe, which will allow you to suck up any blockages that might have lodged themselves a bit further down in the downpipe. So, so that is a really handy tool to have. That's a really good one. And then we've got this one here, which is similar but plastic. Now the reason for that is, um, maybe if you're doing some work in a delicate area, um, something more sensitive, metal guttering and you don't want to scratch it or damage it, or if you're sucking up around some slate tiles, something like that, and you don't want to scratch them, this is a better tool to use because of the soft plastic um, will be a bit more gentle but just to bear in mind you need to be a bit more careful perhaps when you're working with that one you don't want to break it and damage it either so that's a really good tool to have and this one here is um, slightly narrower at the end um, and straight cut so the great thing about this is that you maybe want to concentrate the suction if you've got something really tough a clump of grass or weeds or something like that sometimes in the corner you get some dirt wedged right in the corner of a gutter under the tile or something like that this will really concentrate the suction help you lift out anything that might be stuck in there so that will really help you grab onto anything there of course along with the um, heavy lift button on the side of the machine so that's a really good one to have and this one here the crevice tool. This is brilliant for when the tiles are coming down quite close to the gutter and there's not much room to get a tool in. This is the solution for that. So that'll get nicely into any gaps, tight gaps that are difficult to access. A little tip for using this tool, when you put it in your angle arm like that, the first instinct to do is to put the opening facing towards you well, what's going to happen when you when it goes into the gutter is you're just going to really be sucking out what's in this near corner of the gutter. Much better to have it pointing away from you. Then when it when it slips into that tight gap, it will be sucking what's um, underneath the tile or across the bottom of the gutter like that. So that will help you actually clear out what's in the gutter. That's a much better way of using it. So, I mean, this brilliant selection of tools means that since I've had the gutter back and having this selection of tools means I'm equipped to cope with any situation I'm likely to face. So I hope that helps you understand what some of the tools do and uh, how they're used. Check out my channel, there's loads more there uh, on the Skyvac and the other exterior services we provide. Check out my playlists as well and uh, thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.